In 2012, to a five-year high, rates on a 30-year fixed mortgage have been attractive. And the Fed has even argued that a robust housing market will bleed into all other sectors of the economy. So why not join the crowd? Well, our next guest says if you do, you're going to be joining a crowd of lemmings going off a cliff. Uh. Former Reagan budget director David Stockman, author of the forthcoming book, The Great Deformation, The Corruption of Capitalism in America, joining us now with his uh, less than rosy housing call. So, boy, talk about raining on a parade, David. Well, Everybody well. Is, is talking that finally the housing market is recovering, to which you say... Well, the good news, it's early in the bubble. But nevertheless, it's a bubble because our economy is run by a bubble machine, a cereal bubble machine, the Fed. And on schedule, it is now turned loose the fast money from Wall Street, the hedge funds, the LBO funds, uh, the, the uh, short-term traders. They're flooding into these former subprime markets that are now totally busted with billions of dollars a month buying up distressed uh, or foreclosed properties, trying to induce a bubble so that they can uh, attract the dentists, the doctors, and the Chinese to come in and buy for a quick well, profit. Well, you're they essentially are... saying that what they're doing is very similar to last time. They're going in looking for these, these subprime tracks, uh, yeah. buying up hundreds of or thousands of properties at a time with a big giant vacuum cleaner just sucking these That's things up. That's right. They're not riding into Scottsdale, Arizona on the back of a John Deere lawnmower fixing to become landlords for the next seven years. I say they're riding in on a Hoover vacuum cleaner, sucking up the inventory in selected precincts, selected zip codes, in order to induce a bubble and attract buyers. Because remember, this fast money is not uh, natural owners of dispersed, single-family properties and suburban tracks all around These are America. not buy-and-hold buyers. They're not, they're not natural buy-and-hold because there's no economies of scale. I mean, you're talking about gardens and lawns and crabgrass and, you know, insect-infected trees. There would, if, if, there, if there was a basis for this, they would have been in uh, these markets for 40 right. years. So, Let me just so ask what I'm saying is this is just the fast money coming in because the Fed has now created so much speculation right. in the high yield markets which are on fire and the so-called collateralized loan markets which are on fire that these uh, fast money uh, players can come in with a lot of borrowed money make huge purpose uh, purchases move the markets but this is is it worse though real. is it is it like the the mm -hmm. mid 2000s when in fact people were were buying up these tracks and turning them into CDOs and MBSs and then collateralizing them using them for even bigger loans. Are we going that route? Yeah, I think we're going exactly that route, but the problem is there is no takeout uh, for all of this speculation. In other words, to have a healthy, long-term, uh, long sustained market, you need first-time buyers. We don't have first-time buyers in America because the young people today are, you know, you they're debt-ridden uh, with student they're loans. Debt-ridden with a trillion dollars of student loans, weak job prospects, and no capability to generate down payments to become buyers. Secondly, healthy markets require trade-up buyers. But we now are entering the great baby boom retirement era where we're going to have massive trade down sellers as baby boomers who didn't save and don't have anything provided. So this provided. is like a generational thing. This, this is, is a, a full this generation. Is, this is a that generational you thing. I say that we're housing now, is going to be down. We have uh, three headwinds no first time buyers. Uh, trade down sellers, not trade up buyers. And third, we're starting with the lowest interest rates in history and they have no way to go except up, which is different than the last housing okay, bubble. Let me push back. So far, I've been <laughs> yeah. very tolerant. Okay. I haven't pushed back. I'm going to push back on one thing. We have seen a, a, a downgrading or a, a diminution, excuse me, yeah. a downsizing of, of construction companies, which is just phenomenal, historic. Right. We went from about a million construction companies down to about half of that to about 600,000 construction companies. It takes a long time. We have That has cleared out a lot of the inventory buildup that we had. We had this huge shadow inventory that we have worked through to a large extent. You don't think that has created a demand for housing? Um, no, I don't, because demand for housing organically requires income. 
and requires jobs and we don't have either of those developing to any considerable That's degree true. so what is being the demand that you see today driving some of these markets up by twenty thirty percent in just a few months this has happened in phoenix southern california uh... tampa other places that is basically speculative money it is not owner occupied buyers uh... moving in for the long haul and so this is the problem with the fed our system doesn't work. None of our markets work. Not uh, local, uh, you know, housing markets, not the financial markets, not the stock market. The bond market is totally medicated. This is what you get when you have the Fed buying 85 billion of bonds and agency uh, to keep, debt a To month. keep interest rates yeah, essentially but, but artificially low at but zero. But it's distorting all the price yeah. signals. It's distorting the By price By the way, signals. you saw that commercial, So God Made a Farmer there at the go. Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, Market Watch yeah. came out with a So God Made a Banker. He said, so you <coughs> borrow at zero percent, you lend out at three percent, and if you get into any trouble, you'll have the Fed there to print money, so much money that you'll get out of trouble. Well, that's what the Fed is trying to do, and it's a great mistake to create a risk-free market constantly bailing out, propping up, uh, medicating, and stimulating Wall Street is exactly the wrong thing to do. All right. So there's no hope. Uh, there, there is hope that if we uh, suddenly get the people of America to wake up and elect some different people to the government who will clean house at the Fed. As long as we have Bernanke there, who, by the way, was uh, uh, put in that job by Republicans, yes, he was. Uh, and the rest of the Fed, we have no hope. They are ruining the free market in this country. Liz, if that doesn't depress you, I don't know what will. Over to you, David Stockman. Thank you. Stan.